Hi, so um, I have some bad news for you, and that's the future is risky. If you all remember the metaphor of the glass being half full or half empty, we have a lot of reasons to see the glass as half empty. Um, and that's because our risk is growing. If we think about risk as the combination of hazard, exposure, and vulnerability, each one of these pieces is growing individually. Let's look at hazard. Um, so we know that climate change will change and is already changing uh, our hazard profile. Um, on the one hand, it will increase the intensity and frequency of storms and hurricanes. Um, sea level rise will increase coastal flooding and changes in rain patterns will increase river flooding. Um, we can also expect increases um, in intensity of droughts and heat waves and many of our cities are subsiding. Risk is increasing as well because exposure is increasing. So at, on, on a very simple level, global population is increasing, so clearly more people will be exposed to, uh, to risk. But it's worse because cities are absorbing most of that growth. Um, and at a pace and scale which is really hard to fathom, to put this into perspective, there are more people living in cities today than there were total on the planet in 1970, which is not very long ago. And the reason why urbanization is linked with increased exposure is that cities are statistically more exposed to hazards of various types because of their location. They tend to be coastal or in riverbeds, in valleys, in basins, etc. And things are worse when you look at specific urbanization patterns because as cities get constrained in space, it puts pressure for people to occupy more and more hazardous land on steep slopes and uh, reclaimed land. At the same time, um, sadly, I don't think our buildings and infrastructure systems are necessarily getting more resilient. Um, it is in some cities, but not all. One of the reasons is that for many cities, our um, urban systems are getting increasingly complex, increasingly interdependent and interconnected, which means that they function almost like a series of chains. So a single link breaking can break an entire system or subsystem. Um, our buildings as well are not necessarily getting safer. This massive urbanization that I was talking about, most of that is happening through this ad hoc process of incremental building construction. So that's when a household will start with a one-story building, expand it to two with an addition on the sidewalk, and so forth incrementally. And we see this everywhere from uh, Bangladesh, Peru, Turkey, um, throughout the world, particularly in rapidly growing cities, and this tremendously increases our vulnerability. So now I've talked about the different, some of the main drivers of increasing risk. So now the glass not only looks quite empty, but what's left is not very appetizing. Um, but the glass is also half full, and that's because we have an amazing session for you on Friday. Um, we have a series of great panelists that will talk to you. We'll also be launching the Making Risk Your Future report and website. Um, and uh, one of the reasons why the, the glass is half full, and actually Francis stole my punchline here, is that our, our risks haven't been created. In order to meet the urbanization needs um, that I talked earlier about, we will have to build the equivalent of everything we've ever built in the past 6,000 years, but in the next few decades. And that presents a tremendous opportunity for us, because if we do things right starting now, we can literally lock ourselves into um, a safer risk future. Um, so during our session, we'll be describing some of the tools we can use to model not only our risk today, but how our risk is changing in the future. And in that sense, we're advocating for a, for a sh shift in the way we think from static risk models to dynamic risk models, which also allow us to look at the future impact of today's decisions. And that's incredibly empowering for decision makers because then they can choose um, the least among several risk trajectories, and that's very powerful. Apart from models, uh, risk models, we'll also talk about um, design and how uh, design, design of cities, and particularly we'll be looking at New York, um, is a great tool for uh, reduced future risk. So we really hope that you can join us in our session so that we can go from the glass being half empty to a glass that's not only half full, but we can keep filling it up. Um, and since this is Italy, hopefully it'll be filled with wine. Um, come to our session Friday at 11. Uh, we look forward to seeing you all there.